So, on today's show, we'll be going over how to give a good hand job on keyboards. What are you thinking? We're all the intro. What's up guys? Uh, welcome back uh, to Fuzzcock. Uh, I'm your host, um, Vimana Box. Uh, today we will be working on uh, the right hand parts of the keyboard parts for... What's all we done? I guess it was Susanna to, to uh, do the same one we did last time. Uh, so if you haven't already subscribed, definitely click the subscribe button. Give it a thumb. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends. Uh, remember to ring the bell uh, for no for notifications. And uh, do a comment below and tell me uh, what what you, what you guys are working on and uh, you know, what parts and all this stuff you're working on. Uh, like so, today we're going to be working on the right-handed part of the uh, of the song "Oh Susanna." Um, so just to let you hear what it sounds like with the left-handed part, uh, I'll, I'll play a little bit of it, and then I'll do the right-handed part, and then at the end, you know, show you, uh, <clears throat> what it sounds like together. So, here's, uh, here's the song. We have, right now we have the scratch track, uh, the, the click track, but, but which is, which is a full set, um, uh, it's a drum track from Logic, and then the piano part uh, that I worked on last night. So. is the left-handed part, which like I explained uh, yesterday, when I was 15 years old, I had two strokes, uh, and they happened on my right side, so consequently I cannot play uh, piano with my right side, so I have to do parts uh, differently, or uh, different takes. So when I first did the left-handed part, and it's in the lower octave, uh, I play uh, the second octave, and I play, in, I play in the key of E. So what you're hearing is... Like that. So now what you'll hear is uh, up in the third octave, uh, and, and it'll be a little bit, you know, kind of finagling, just, just to do it differently than, uh, I, I'm not just gonna do the exact same thing. Uh, so what I'll do with this is like. Like that. Um, and hopefully we can get it done. I would like to get it done in one take, uh, but definitely no more than two. Uh, that, that's my goal. Hopefully we do do a shorter video this time. Uh, last time it was about, almost 30 minutes, so we're already at four minutes. So, uh, but yeah, this is uh, the right hand part. So here we go.
messed up on take one. Hit, hit, hit like a, like that. Uh, we'll just do it. Uh, that, that's why I hate um, semi uh, weighted keys. Cause it's like, it's like, it's so, it's so easy to, you know, mess up on a key. All right, All right I got this done. So take two, hopefully last take. Sure the pedals where I can get it. Alright, here we go. One, two,
Excellent. <clears throat> Got it in two takes. All right. Cool. Well, I'm pretty much going to call it a night. Uh, we're already at 11 minutes. And uh, I already got the take done. So uh, I'll let you hear just a snippet of it. Um, I'm going to have the scratch track in the center, which the scratch track is the vocals and the acoustic guitar done on, on one mic. Uh, you have the drums. And then I'm going to pan the piano left, you know, all the way to the left and the piano right all the way to the right. It, it'll be a little bit um, distorted, not like distortion, but like you, know, you won't hear it exactly. Uh, like you know, could just, you know, a mono uh, like recording, but you will hear, you will hear, it'll hear a little bit of a difference because I got, you know, the speakers, but uh, I'll let you hear a little bit of it. And there we go. So if you'll notice, um, it's you know it's not like standing out, and you know that that's the way I like pretty much all of my instruments to be. Uh, it's really just like kind of a rhythm section, um, very tight. Uh, you know, nothing's really standing out. It's not like uh, you know, it's not it's not like cream or something or like a jazz band. It's it's not where everybody's just kind of doing their own thing. It's like everybody's playing just like a rhythm section except for like the lead guitar um, and even the lead guitar is, is just doing more of a melodic um, you know ambiance type thing with you know re a lot of reverb and uh, delay um, you know I, 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 I'm just one of those players that just likes likes my stuff to be really tight uh, probably, probably my, my biggest influence as far as just you know, the overall quality of the recording is you know the james brown band or um oh what's his name i can't think of his name i can't think of it off the top of my head uh but he's a, he's a great artist um I, I i i can see him and i can hear the songs uh, anyway yeah just having myself really tight uh you know the beatles is a, is a great example uh, but yeah, the James Brown band, that's, that's the stuff, that's, that's what I like, I like to be, just really tight, and, uh, definitely really, you know, like, standing out or, or anything, you know, the, the wall of sound, uh, is, is my, you know, my go-to style to record, so, uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's all for tonight, um, like I said, uh, definitely subscribe, uh, to the channel, uh, click the thumbs up, uh, to, you know, boost the, uh, the search quality. Uh, uh, let's see. Click the bell uh, to be notified of the uh, of the new videos, which are pretty much every day. Um, and then uh, comment below, tell them, what, tell them what you're working on and kind of what your style of, of recording is. So, uh, as I always say, if the good Lord's Woodland and the Creek Don't Rise, I will catch y'all on the flip side. Uh, see you, everybody.